In this video, we are going to attempt to prove the quadratic equation, which tells you when you have a quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, our, our the solution to this equation x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. So we are going to attempt to somehow go from here to ax squared plus, plus bx plus c is equal to 0, all the way to our quadratic equation. So let's try it out. And how are we going to start? We are going to start by moving the c over to the other side, otherwise known as subtracting c. So c cancel out. So you have ax squared plus bx is equal to negative c. Now, let's, let's, why don't we divide by a to make the coefficient of x squared 1, which is usually easier to work with. So let's divide by a to every single thing to cancel this out. So you have x squared plus b over a times x is equal to, let me actually leave some space, negative c over a. And here's the thing. What we want to do is we want to change this we want to change this part of the equation to x plus something squared, and let's call something to be a star. So you want to somehow transform the left side of this equation to the form x plus star squared. And how are we going to do it? You can do it by completing the square, but just in case you don't know how to complete the square, I, I'm going to walk you through it. What's x plus star squared to begin with? Let's write it out. That's x plus star times x plus star, and we can fold this, x times x gets you x squared, x times star gets you star times x, star times x gets you another star times x, and star times star gets you star squared. So you have x plus star squared is x squared plus x squared plus, you have two stars going on, two star x's plus star squared. So, so what do we know? We want to somehow match this part the left side of this equation in the form x squared plus 2 star x plus star squared. So we have x squared, that's good, and we need 2 star x, so our b over a is 2 times star, and we want to do plus star squared. But what is the star? We want to find the star and substitute it in. But here's the thing, you know b over a is equal to 2 times the star. So how can you find the star? Simple, by dividing by 2 by dividing by 2. So our star is equal to b over 2a. So we have to we have to add star squared to this equation, which is x squared plus b over ax plus b over 2a squared. And whenever you add something to the left side of the equation, you have to add the same thing to the right side of the equation. So we're going to add it to the right side too. And what's the point of writing it like this? What's the point of adding b over 2a squared? Because now this thing is in the form x squared plus 2 star x plus star squared, which means we can change this in the form x plus star squared. And what was, the, what was the star? Our star was b over 2a. So we can rewrite this as x over b over 2a squared as we originally intended. And how do you simplify this side of the equation? You have negative c over a plus you square the b, so you have b squared, you square 2, you, which gets you 4, squaring a gets you a squared. Let's try to further simplify this side. Let's multiply by 4a to c over a to have the common denominator. So you, you are multiplying by 4a to top and bottom. So you have negative 4ac up top, and you have 4a squared down below plus b squared over 4a squared. And the reason you multiply by 4a is, is so that we can add these fractions together. And we have b squared minus 4ac up top. So you have b squared minus 4ac all divided by 4a squared. So this is the equation we have. We have x plus b over 2a squared is equal to b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared. Now you're going to take square root of the entire thing, which is going to cancel this out. So you have x plus b over 2a is equal to, whenever you take square root in, in, in a normal or general statement, you should take plus or minus square root. So you have plus or minus square root of the top, which is plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, divided by square root of 4a squared. 
And what is square root of 4a squared? What do we have to square to get 4a squared? Well, you have to square a 2 to get a 4. You have to square an a to get a squared. So that's going to be 2a. So you have this thing so far, and we're so close to being done. We want to find x. So all you have to do is subtract b over 2a to both sides. And here, here we have it. x is equal to, you have 2a down below, negative b, you start with, plus or minus b squared minus 4ac, plus or minus square root, my bad, of b squared minus 4ac, and you're dividing by 2a. And this is the solution to our original equation, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, and this thing is called quadratic, quadratic equation.